hey guys welcome back to my channel um this is gonna be like a really really uh laid back video i don't even have my background up or anything so you can kind of see my room you can kind of see my bed a little bit it's messy my bh cosmetics order is here yes right when i opened the box they have a color festival launching march 20th which is old news because we're already in april and then they have a collaboration with daisy marquez on february 28th also old news um i think they're just getting rid of all the extra flyers that they still have left so they just kind of threw in these in there i haven't opened anything i haven't even really looked at anything i haven't swatched anything i haven't unwrapped anything so i'm going to be doing all of that with you guys in this video um and the first thing that i see is i think it's one of the brush sets that i ordered because it's pretty pretty big it looks it's like a bag the bag says bh cosmetics it's a bubble wrap makeup bag almost see and then there's like a little um like a ziploc thing here that you can kind of close it or open it and then inside are three palettes so i'm gonna go ahead and take them out yeah, I bought a lot of palettes from BH. I'm telling you, they had like a sale and everything was 50% off. Now, BH is already pretty affordable um, with the regular prices. So, for them to have like a 50% sale, you were getting everything dirt cheap. Yeah, um, I'm really excited about the eyeshadows and stuff. So, maybe I'll do those last. Let me show you guys the brushes. So... One of the brush sets that I ordered was the um, Sculpt and Blend 10-piece brush set from BH. Looks like this. This one is a BH 115. Um, and it tells you on the back what the brushes are. So they do have like the numbers on the brushes. And then they also have the name of the brush correlating to their number so like this is a um 115 and it says here that the brush 115 is a tapered contouring face brush these two right here are almost the same thing except this one is a little bit angled but not a lot you can't even really see the difference looking at them uh, yeah these brushes i'm curious to see what i end up using them for because right now i don't right now i can't think of a use for them and then the rest of the brushes are pretty good the face brushes i really do like i like all the face brushes and i like two of the smaller brushes but these over here um are questionable i'm not sure what i'm gonna end up using those for i don't even have any more space for brushes at this point okay the next thing is another brush set i'm telling you everything was 50 percent off and it was just so inexpensive um i kind of went crazy with the brushes because you can never have enough brushes you know what i mean the rose quartz it's a nine piece brush set so these have um the, the handles are supposed to be rose quartz style or look like rose quartz i'm not sure what that means and then on the back it has the name of each brush it's got like a, a, a marble design um like a watercolor design and this one this is the number number four the number four is a deluxe blending brush these are very pretty you guys these brushes feel really good they feel like heavy like good material and the brushes are so soft 
so soft i'm not sure if they're synthetic but very luxurious and they feel so nice they have weight to them nice like look at how cute the handle is and then it has bh and then the number of the brush so these were all the little eyeshadow brushes from the rose quartz palette or the rose quartz set and then these were all the face brushes because i bought so much stuff they gave me a free mini two-piece brush set for free with my order i think this one's a little bit better to highlight with than this one just a little bit they're still kind of oversized both of them are still too big to highlight in my opinion like if i compare it to my highlighting brush from morphe like you know what i mean it's they're both still too big but i would use this one to highlight maybe because it's mini it's a little bit better yeah i definitely use this to highlight with so this was nice i like this one and then the other one is a flat angle brush. It looks like this. Um, maybe I'll use this to kind of clean up my edges for my eyeshadow. Or to apply concealer under the eyes. Or to apply my foundation. But those are really all the brushes that I got from BH Cosmetics. And now let's get into the palette actually really like the little bag that it came with too i think this is really different and kind of unique i might use this as like a makeup bag because you really can that's kind of different i haven't seen something like that with the packaging so that's cute let me start with the like the not so exciting palette out of the bunch i have the bh cosmetics modern mattes 28 color eyeshadow palette and it looks like this <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the um packaging this is what it looks like it's got you know greens blues some pinks and orange it's got some color in there so i'm gonna start with some of the brighter shades like the colorful shades like the green at the bottom i'm gonna swatch this one right here they're very soft and smooth texture and then i'm swatching it on the back of my hand Ooh, that's actually really good okay let's try the one that's next to it it's like a teal green type of color looks like that Okay, so I feel like these eyeshadows do have my color payoff, like, right off the bat. I thought they were going to be, like, super powdery and, like, not pigmented enough, but they feel really smooth in the pan, um, like, real soft and smooth, and there does seem to be color payoff. Ooh, this one's, like, there is, girl, this one was a good swatch. eyeshadows feel really good so yeah i'm i'm excited about this palette but i'm even more excited about the other palette that i have here in front of me this one is take me back to brazil 35 color pressed pigment palette pressed pigment i didn't know that they were pressed pigments i thought they were just eyeshadows but that's even better. How is this? How do I? Is this in a package? So, okay. First of all, let me just let you guys look at it. This is this is um the box. This isn't the actual palette. It almost looks like it's like a see-through window, and this is the palette, but it's not. It's all part of um the packaging. Okay, so this is in packaging. I kind of have to rip it apart. So, let's do that. Oh, man. The packaging I don't like. I wish it was in a unicarton like this one. Um, So, because now I'm just having to tear, tear it apart. 
and I'm gonna ruin the whole little cute design. You know what I mean? Like, look what's happening. Like, that's kind of sad, you know? I do like the packaging and everything. I mean, not the packaging, but, like, the, the, the little design on the front. And I'm kind of sad that I had to rip it in half just to get the palette out. And I still can't get it out. So, maybe the packaging would have been better on a unicorn. I'm not sure why they didn't do that in a unicorn. You know what I mean? But, have the same design that it had in the front maybe like a little bit different but it's like the same um when you open it it comes with the little um shield the plastic shield throwing that away the mirror that's in it which i like so i like the design i like the mirror but what i noticed is the pan sizes are a lot smaller like super small like my like my whole finger covers up the whole thing you know what i mean mm, i do like larger eyeshadow pans not so much the small ones like this like these are super small and you know what they have a lot of shades that are kind of repeating like okay look they have two yellows and they look exactly the same they have some pinks they look exactly the same they have blues that look exactly the same is this supposed to be is this a, is that how it's supposed to be or not like you know what i mean are they supposed to have like like double the colors or no let's forget about that and let's just see like how pigmented okay let me just watch all the pinks that look alike and see if there's a difference with swatches like if maybe it's a different undertone or something like that maybe it just looks the same in the pan and you guys there i mean there's a little bit of a different i'm gonna try the two blues that look just alike and let's see if there's a difference with those i mean there is pigment um but like the fact that they're almost the same shades repeated in this palette is turning me off by a lot and i paid the most money for this palette so I, I don't know you guys you know i'm kind of torn so these were the two blues and like i don't know man well there's another blue they got like three blues in here See, the, this is one eyeshadow, this is another eyeshadow, and they look identical. If that was the case, they should have made the pans bigger, so that way there was... Like, I feel like they made the pans smaller to be able to add the same eyeshadow. And, like, I don't know. I'm not sure what is going on here, but those were the swatches from Take Me Back to Brazil. Now, they were pigmented. Um, I didn't see an, a, an overwhelming difference between the other, the, the Modern Mattes palette and the Take Me Back to Brazil. And that's interesting to notice why they didn't just make big pans in this palette instead of doing one or two or three pans of the same color. I didn't, I don't know. Okay. And then on the bottom, I believe they have some highlighter shades down here. I'll swatch those for you to see what those are about. So here's one. I mean, it's cute. It's okay. And it's, it's not glitter. It's, a, it's like a shimmer highlighter. And then the other one that's next to it, it's a lot more powdery feeling. And that's what it looks like. 
some the highlighters so you can see this one's more like a gold highlight this is more like a like a white highlight the last palette that i bought from bh cosmetics is a highlight highlighting palette that i bought from bh for like six eight dollars super on also on sale so i don't even know how much it regularly costs but it was on sale everything on their website was on sale you guys like everything 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 so and also the packaging is the same you have to rip it apart i'm not sure why don't they just do like a unicarton like what they did it for the modern matte palette okay And then once you open it, they all came with a little protective shield, which is nice. And it has a mirror, which is also nice. Nice sized. My whole face fits in there. It's a good mirror. Yeah, it's a good mirror. Hmm. Okay. Let's swatch the highlights. So, and these have names. So the highlighters in the palette do have names. This is called, um ethereal this one is called dream this one is called radiance this one is called wind or not not wind this one is called vivid this one's called allure and then this one is called glow it looks like it's it's a white base with gold shimmer throughout it this is gold and the shimmer in it is gold it's just a gold highlighter is a lot more rose gold can you guys see right there that one's just white it doesn't have any gold shimmer in it It's this one right here. J just to clarify though, I really did like, well I haven't used them right, like I haven't did my makeup or my eyeshadow with any of the new stuff that I have here today. But did, I'm thinking that I am going to enjoy this palette here. And I'm also going to enjoy the Take Me Back to Brazil but like I said, it was just like the the, the layout of the eyeshadows was kind of questionable. And then the highlighter palette, this one, um, it's cute. I mean, there's glow, there's shine and everything. Okay, you guys, um, that was my haul. Like sometimes I have the background set up, sometimes I won't. Um, you'll see my messy bed and stuff like um, I hope that's okay I hope that that doesn't bother you like I like I don't know just let me know because if it bothers a lot of people then I, I'll just put the background up pretty much everything that I have to say about first impressions unboxing these new things thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time bye